Squirrel of YouTube Terrible Sight here with another video of barcode scanning. And, um, literally found this little thing sticking on a reflector on a telephone pole. Mind you, it ain't no bigger than a dime. And the games of, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Say so, Pokemon Go are growing, and uh, I just want to share this, of course, because I don't know if anybody's heard of this, but I, I might as well just throw it out there because I do find this very interesting. But just like Pokemon Go, I'm about to wonder if this game is gonna be like that. Because <laughs> I remember when that game first came out, people friggin' dying, falling off cliffs, driving cars, say so, and probably, you know, dirt, probably, you know, roads that end to nothing. And I'm about to wonder if there's a little bit of dark sequency to behind these games. That always runs through my mind. Especially when stuff comes up like this. Of course, as you can hear, I was walking Mr. Pug. And, um, literally was looking at the telephone pole. Now, not only do I look at telephone poles for numbers, because that might have been one of the things that caught the attention of police, say so, in the Maura Murray case, now that I think of it, because I did mention something in a video, like I said, and uh, that was one of the things I said. You know, the, the 112 dirt bag was leaving numbers in areas of where so 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 called body parts probably could have been of a Maura Murray spread out to a resort, mind you. And, you know, thinking now, thinking of this and, you know, going back into my mind. Every time I drive by a telephone pole, poles do have numbers. Whether it be like 95, 125, they're all marked. I'm sure they do that for purposes of if they're damaged or get struck by lightning, they know which pole they're dealing with, of course. You just can't say, oh, the pole, one, two, three, four, five, six in from the street over here. No, I definitely most understand why they have their own individual numbers. <clears throat> pole 125 is down. So, with that being said, and I was looking at the pole today because I let the dog, you know, do his business on it. Because I don't care about your telephone poles. You want to rip me off from the light company, make me pay high bills? Well, good, I'll teach you a lesson. Have my dog pee on your phone. Pole, asshole. <clears throat> but anyway, no need of that. I'm looking at one right now here. But there's no numbers on this one because course I believe it's set into a you know behind the factory I'm at see it behind me I don't think this one would need numbers but I could be wrong but literally that's now you know I have that in the back of my mind every time I see a pole it's about a one left and one twelve dirt bag put some um code numbers in that the body or wherever he was or whatever he was doing could have been at this wooded area near this telephone pole. <clears throat> Very lots of things to think of, folks. If you haven't heard that one before, you have now. Unless you heard about my last video, the Moore Murray case. But I do believe that there's something who knows what telephone poles that would uh, indicate that that could be somewhere that more Murray could be too. 
whether it's her body complete or in pieces. But now these games are coming up, and this is not the first time I've seen this. There was another game, I forget what it was, but I wasn't even thinking of taking it. I don't think it was a scanned barcode. It was the name, and I should have took a picture of it. Because now it's missing off the pole. Someone must have either took it down. It was way bigger than this. And you could clearly see it if you were walking, like, say, so on, you know, on the sidewalk or whatnot. <clears throat> but I don't know if the light company took it down. And that's why they're trying to make things smaller. So they won't get seen and taken off. But I can just imagine now that I think of it, how many people are running around, you know, putting these damn stickers. In this game that I that came up, as you can see, I scanned it, went on it, and lo and behold, this is what we got. We have Munzi. And it says about this game is Goddamn sun. Munzee is a global scavenger hunt where QR codes are found and captured. So with that being said, just like Pokemon Go and this other game I noticed on, I think it might have been the same pole. That I forgot. I always stop at that pole because um, due to the fact it's a place where I cross the street with the dog to bring him to a wooded area, you know, to do his business. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is what it led me to, the barcode. So, right. And like I said in a previous video, could barcodes ever solve a case or bring up suspicion on someone? You know, this is not just for gaming. To me, it also is for, you know, like I said, I found something on the ground that had a barcode and I immediately scanned it, found out it was like an oil company. And it's like, what could, uh, say so, killer drop because you know they're in or a serial killer because they're in the heat of that moment of killing somebody and they lose something falls out because they're that stupid because they are some stupid scared serial killers right that's right stupid serial killers and leave you know pronounced known evidence. So this is a new thing for me. This is why I do these videos. This is why if I see something new and this is why my eyes are always wide open, come up with them thought, theories, ideas, folks. That's all this channel is. Thoughts, theories, ideas. What if something this like this could solve something? Like say, so that oil company, say he was a um, serial killer. And, um, you know, he's just going about his business, doing his job. But, right, he dropped something. Say maybe he was, like, delivering oil to a woman's house. <laughs> Drops a barcode card like I found or whatever the hell that was. And, um, you know, oh, those are just pumping oil. I didn't know no one's dead in the house. But yet... No surveillance, no this, no that. Kills somebody, drives off, has his alibi, being an oil. You know, you gotta think of these things. I mean, that might sound a little stupid, but you know, thoughts, theories, ideas. And in a case, any case, murder, serial killer, all the same damn thing, you don't always go on one detailed article you don't always go on one detailed thing that the police give to you you gotta put your mind to the madness 
and think of all kinds of thoughts, theories, ideas. And this is something new, I think. Now, I stumbled upon this. Who knows if anybody else ever thought of this, but it's only a game, folks. But that barcode being scanned, it could also lead to something else in my eyes. You never know. You never know. That's why I say you just don't go on one pasture, one trail, one, you know, article. You got to go on anything all around you in your head. You got to get more explanation or more thoughts, theories, ideas on this or any type of case. To catch a killer, you must think like a killer. And that's the bottom line, because Sherlock Holmes said so. And whoever wrote them Sherlock Holmes scripts was very intelligent, I can tell you. Highly intelligent. And um, whether or not he was a real detective in life, I never looked that up or attempt to, but... Or even if the writer who wrote them scripts was a real detective. And say so from Scotland Yard. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, you know, damn <laughs> good at what they do. So, with that being said, folks, if you see a barcode, scan it. Something that has never probably been thought of until now, here on Terrible Sight. I will bring you all the Terrible Sight of this world brings to expose the nastiness. Try to make it better and good, hopefully. But until the next video, folks, be safe, take care, and always beware. Can't say it enough. So we don't know who the hell is out there and setting up these little, you know, bar codes. Even though it's a game, a little innocent game it looks like here. It also could mean something sinister and dark.